Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Dan Nocturne Knives, and today I've got a video doing a quick unboxing, unpackaging, unbagging, unpadded, enveloping, whatever you want to call this puppy right here. Very cool knife. I'm excited about this one. I've got my BP Custom Knives Wasp to rip this puppy open. If you want to see a video of me sharpening this, maybe I didn't sharpen this one. Maybe I sharpened a different version. Oops. Cut through that. That's a bummer. Whatever. Uh, yeah, if you want to see some coverage, I think I sharpened my other wasp. I think I have a video of that recently, my wasp and magna cut. Sharpening that. Definitely should not have stabbed into this with that much vigor. That was a mistake. But now this sticker has a little bit of character. That might spoil a little bit what's in here. Anyway, got a bit of candy, Lifesaver. I'm a big candy fan, so that's always appreciated. And, yep, yeah, that's everything. Ooh, that's, that's your giveaway right there. Let's see. Might be some stuff to cut open. So, I've got a knife and an article of clothing in here. See. Oh, look at that. That's neat how it's wrapped up like that. Toss this BP Custom Knives Wasp back in. I like that fixed blade a lot. Take a look at this. So I got a shirt with this order. And the company is NAFS. Uh, look at that. Space Kitty. Absolutely. NAFS. Ben Peterson. I really like what he's doing lately. I'm enjoying it a lot. Feels like a nice shirt, by the way. But Ben Peterson of NAFS, really cool guy. I've been very intrigued by what he's been doing lately. I decided to get in on the NAFS hype train. You can pause and read that if you want. To the moon, amigos. So this is the Lunar Surface Scales Limited Edition collaboration with Chroma Scales right there. We must be bold. JFK 1962. And let's get into this thing. Oh, look at that. How neat is that? Take a look at this. You can pause and read it if you want. There you go. It also gives you some maintenance. And oh, what's on the back? Wow, that's cool. That's really neat. And what is this? Oh, extra springs and hardware. What a nice touch. That's awesome. I like that. Oh, now let's get into the knife. Oh, look at that. How neat is this? So this is the NAFS Lander 2. And this is the special edition lunar surface or lunar lander version of the, of the Lander V2. Flick this open. Ooh, that feels pretty nice. These are made by Kaiser in China. On the scales, you're looking at a 3D printed uh, plastic resin, whatever, whatever this 3D printed material is. It's a type of plastic, I guess, made by Chroma Scales. And then on the blade, you have S35VN. And this is the special Lunar Lander version. It is serialized. It has a countdown timer. I think there were 90 of these made. And the time here indicates which number this is. Comes with this special edition bead right here. United States right there. What else? Yeah, it says United States in both places. Very cool. On the clip, you have a boot tread. And then each one of these, the surface, the texture here, modeled after a specific part of the moon, I believe, it's different for each one. So each one is unique on this. Really snappy on the open. That's pretty sweet. I haven't, I haven't owned a Kaiser clutch lock yet, actually. This is my first Kaiser clutch lock. This is also my first NAFS that I've owned. I handled a couple NAFs at Blade Show last year. And the Lander V2 I actually really liked. It, it really impressed me at Blade Show last year. So I'm excited to 
finally get one and get one in this cool special edition. I, I like a lot of, of what we got going on here. I like the cool, the special edition bead. I like the unique scales. And the design overall, it's just a good knife. It's just a really good knife design. On the Ergos, you have this really neutral handle. It just fits your hand. There's no no two ways around it. It just fits your hand, and it's going to fit pretty much any sized hand. Like, you could have a huge hand and be hanging off the back of this little spot to put your pinky, and you're going to be just fine. Or if you have a medium to large size hand like me, you're going to be just fine in any grip you want. Has some nice functional jimping here, but not rough. You can see it's nice and fine, and it's catchy. It, it catches your finger, but it's really not rough. Really like that. Blade is just a good mm, drop point, kind of spear point. It's probably more of a drop point, technically, in S35VN, and feels thinly ground enough. It's like probably 18 thousandths behind the edge. Feels pretty sharp as well. Not bad at all. Here's what we're looking like on the edge. Pretty typical factory edge. It's slightly uneven from side to side. No big deal. It feels just fine. Yeah, it feels pretty sharp. Happy with that. And then all the details are what really make this knife cool. Yeah, take a nice close up look at that. We have the studs are tooled on this side for easy removal for when you want to sharpen this. Love that. Yeah, really, really nice. I'm, I'm digging that. Again, you've got the extra hardware, really nice touch, extra springs. And as I said, this is made by Kaiser in China. Kaiser is just doing a good job lately. They're building knives really, really well. And this feels like no exception. The action is really good. The lock feels nice and smooth. It's actually really easy to actuate with one hand, with, or sorry, with one finger on either side, and super easy with two. The detent feels pretty snappy. It's honestly a really snappy uh, axis style or bar lock detent. Pretty good. I'm I'm impressed with that. The only thing I can find that's wrong with it is the centering is a little bit off. I wonder if I could just kind of torque that a little bit. I bet with some disassembly and, and playing around with this, that could be straightened out. It's not bad, and it's not rubbing anywhere. You've got plenty of clearance, so whatever not an expensive knife this was oh i don't even i don't remember how much this was is it on here no i have no idea i, I do not remember how the, how much this was if i remember i will look up the price on this and put it on screen right now it wasn't an exorbitant amount none of the naf stuff is incredibly expensive or anything i'm gonna say it was 150 or something like that which is perfectly fine for the build and materials and everything that you're getting here. No issues with that. Yeah, really cool. These chroma scales, I have handled them before at Blade Show a couple of times. Previously, I don't know, I've never been into them. Something about the texture and the feel I've not been a fan of. On this, I think it works with the unique properties that you get with these scales in how they can be 3D printed like this and have legitimate texture, a three-dimensional texture on here. You can see all those facets and everything. They do legitimately have depth. You can feel them. The only downside is it is plasticky. It's pretty plasticky and feels a little flimsy. Like you can, you can give these a little squeeze together if this was G10, it might not be quite as flexible. You do have full width steel liners though. So no worries on the on the structural integrity, I think with this, not an issue. But in the past, I've not been as big a fan on these, on this knife. I kind of dig it. I don't mind it because of the benefits you get with how you can make this texture, this surface of the moon texture 
you couldn't really do this with other materials, at least not at this price point and not at this level of detail. Again, really cool, and you see it on all sides of the handle. You have texture all the way, tactile texture all the way here. It's really cool, it's really, really neat. Plunge grind is good. You'll be able to sharpen this a couple times before you're running into the plunge. I wish, I do wish they push that plunge farther back. Maybe have it end back here under the handle and then you could have a whole lot of edge, like a Chris Reeve Sabenza, for example. I kind of wish they'd done that, but as it is, it's not bad. And it's a pretty sharp plunge line, so even when you do start hitting the plunge, it won't be that bad. It really won't. It'll be fine. And you could extend that. Let's see. Does that interfere with the blade? Uh, no, you could extend it a bit, I think. Let's see, you probably won't be able to see that very well. But you could extend that plunge a little bit. That'd be all right. That's doable. Oh, you can almost front flip it. That's funny. <laughs> that's really not... That's a very... <laughs> that's not a legitimate opening method. But you can do it. You can technically front flip this, which is funny. It's not very easy. There we go. That's an actual flip. Yeah, pretty difficult and not very comfortable, but it can be done. Little wrist flip makes it easier, but you can middle finger flick this. The thumb flick is easy. I like how these thumb studs are positioned. They're kind of reminiscent of a Benchmade 940 in the studs position relative to the handle and relative to the pivot, where they're really tight into the handle and very much below the pivot. They're almost in line with the pivot, like on a 940. So when you press upwards, you can generate a lot of force very easily pressing straight up, and then you just shift your thumb out, and it flies open easily. So the st thumb stud placement here with this type of lock is done very well, and it's intuitive to just slide your finger up the edge of the scales and you hit the thumb stud, press straight up until you feel the tension, and then press out, and it fires open effortlessly. Really is nice, the axis style detent on this is very positive. You can see it really clicks shut. That's quite a good, that's quite a good axis lock detent. It's better than a lot of Benchmades I've handled, better than Better than a lot of knives. Kaiser is doing a good job on their clutch lock, what they're calling this. And the clutch lock is also adjustable. You can, here I can show you those dots right there. That allows you to adjust where the spring connects to the liners and you can adjust the tension of the lock that way, which is a, a really cool idea. So. I have no idea which setting the spring is on on this. I have no idea. It might be the strongest. It might be the weakest. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the middle. Couldn't tell you. I'll have to open it up and take a look at that. But that's a great feature of the lock. And that is the NAFS Lunar Lander, the NAFS Lander V2 Lunar Lander Edition. I'm not sure what the official name is of this is. I think it's the Lunar Lander, but the model is the Lander V2. I think this is a really neat knife. I'm. It's exactly what I was hoping for. It has totally met my expectations. I think it's really cool. I hope you guys think it's cool too. I'm. I like when people have fun with knives, and Ben Peterson is having fun with knives, as evidenced by the Space Kitty. I like having fun. I really appreciate this and what Ben is doing. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you appreciate it too. If you have any questions or comments about this knife, go drop them down in the comment below. I would love to hear them discuss anything you want to down there. I'm definitely interested. Do you like what Ben is doing? Did you get one of these? Do you not like it? Whatever. I'd love to hear it. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And with all that said, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.